So what is web scraping? If you're watching this video, you're probably asking yourself that question. Maybe it's that you really just don't even know what web scraping is. Maybe you know what it is and just don't really know yet how to implement it. So I'm going to do my best to briefly give you a synopsis of both what it is and how to use it. Web scraping is essentially a way for you to make requests from your server to other websites, take their HTML, search through it for what you're looking for, um, and then manipulate and implement it on your own website however you want to. Um, of course, there, there is some gray area on this legally and ethically. Some websites specifically say in their terms of service that you're not allowed to take any of their data and use it for any reason. Others make it less clear, so just make sure you're proceeding with caution. For the purposes of this video, uh, it's not that big of a deal. This is purely educational, so I'm just going to use an example, um, and I just want to make sure that you can understand how it's done. So basically with JavaScript, it's very easy to, to web scrape with the library Cheerio and request promise, which has request as a dependency. So before you get started, just make sure that you npm install all three of those. And it's also running on the server side, so I'm using Express. I recommend it for you too for these purposes. Um, so basically what's happening here is we're requiring all, all those uh, node packages that we were just talking about and using this get route for to just set up our own API route. Within this route, um, what's happening here, this is an options object that is going to get passed to the request promise. And what, what it basically does is it, it tells you the URI that you're looking for. So in our case, it's going to be a, a website called kempom.com. And it takes this transform function, which takes the body of that website and runs essentially runs Cheerio on it. And it comes back basically like jQuery for Node, um, which is really cool because that enables us to select specific elements either by their tag name or their class name or their ID and then you know run a bunch of methods on them similar to jQuery where we can get like here dot each you can run dot map you can do a bunch of things um, and it's it's makes it really easy and simple to use because it's very very similar to jQuery so if you have any familiarity with jQuery awesome if not still pretty easy to to learn on your own um, so let me just give you a basic idea of what the website is that we're looking at here. So this is Kempom. It's a college basketball ranking system, and it's got essentially just a table with all these teams all the way down to 351. And for these purposes, let's just pretend that we are only interested in the ranking of the team and the team itself. So as you see here, uh, it's got a bunch of TD tags inside of the T body. Um, so we want to access each of these TD tags and get the value that's inside of them. Here you see it's one. Here the value is Villanova and so on and so forth all the way down. So basically the point of this is like if you wanted to be able to maybe make your own, you know, show the, the top 10 teams from Ken Palm on your website or show all 351 teams in college basketball or sort the 351 teams in college basketball in alphabetical order on your website, you can take this data and then do what you want with it. So here, the way it's implemented is uh, we're selecting every single table data element, running dot each on that group, and then for each one, pushing the text value into this data array. So let me just quickly show you what that looks like as it comes back. Okay, so as you can see, we get a whole bunch of data that we don't really care about in addition to the ranking and the team. So what can we do to just uh, get the stuff that we're interested in? Now this is essentially just basic JavaScript, right? We're, we're going to uh, loop through this data array that we have, skip over the stuff that we don't care about, and extract only the stuff that we do care about. All right, we're also taking their conference. Um, oh, actually, we don't need their conference for this. Never mind. So uh, we're essentially taking their team, the taking the team name and taking the rank, setting 
the team is a key in this rankings object, and then putting the rank as the value. You can do it with whatever way you want. And the way this will end up looking is like this. So now you have literally every single team all the way from 1 to 351 down here in Ken Palm's rankings. And as you saw, there was all that other data that you could choose to, to keep and do what you want with. But for now, you're able to go through and see the rankings. You could sort it however way you want, but they have a key value. Um, so it's, it's very exciting, very fun, very cool to be able to take data from somewhere else and use it how you would like to use it. So that's a, a brief little tutorial on web scraping. Hope you enjoyed.